So last video, I showed you how to build a breadboard project, which is a level shifter. Now, as you know, you can run a WS2812, or in this case, an SK6812 RGBW LED strip straight from the 3.3 volt logic of an ESP32. We all know that that works 99% of the time. However, if you've had any kind of flickering, you know you probably want to put a level shifter in line somewhere. So if you're new here, by the way, my name is Justin Nelson, and this is Justin Nelson's Projects. Today, we're talking once again about level shifters, but don't click away yet. I've got a solution if you don't want to build your own level shifter and you can't find a good off the shelf plug and play. Stick with me. Now, obviously, not everybody wants to build a breadboard version, but for fun, I'm going to hook this in line and we'll see what it does. So this is it running with the breadboard version of my project. Now what I didn't show when I showed how to breadboard this is how to take it and make it into a perf board project. And as you can see here, it's you know pretty compact. I used a large board, but you could cut that out and make it relatively small. So let's see that in action. And just like that, there's the breadboarded version. It's the same circuit that's on here, just neatly soldered onto a little perf board. Of course, on my website, I do sell two different variations of my level shifter. One of them is a simple inline shifter that you can stick anywhere in line just to buffer that data logic. And it doesn't have to be 3.3 volt data. It can be a five volt data that you've just got a long wire run going to and you need to boost that data signal a little bit. And then there's the Hyperion on specific version we'll get to in a moment but both of these are available on my store link up here so let's disconnect the perf board version and connect this guy in line okay so now this guy is in line i looped it just to save a little space right here this can be stuck in line with any ws2812 or sk6812 that has the standard pigtails three pin jst sm connector to be specific if you're running hyperion what we can do is disconnect the power from the LED strip itself and run it through this. On your LED strip, you've got these three wires and then you've got two power injection wires, but they all go to the exact same point. Power injection at the start of the strip kind of doesn't make sense. If you're going to do that, do it later on at the end of the strip or somewhere in the middle, wherever you start seeing the colors and brightness drop out. So let's go ahead and put the Hyperion version in line. Now, in this case, instead of powering the ESP or Raspberry Pi or what have you directly from the five volts we're running it through its usb connection and when i sell the hyperion version i give you the choice of a type c or a type micro depending on what kind of raspberry pi you are using but in any case this can also be used with an esp so now as you can see we're putting the power directly into the level shifter now it's supplying power to the esp instead of directly via the pins through a usb cable and that's kind of important especially on the raspberry pi you want to power it through the usb port because that protects you from over voltage over current all that kind of stuff so you definitely want to use it this way on a raspberry pi specifically in this setup now we only need the green wire and the white wire a ground and a data wire okay i gotta restart this i knew that was gonna time out after some time i want to show you something kind of interesting so we're going to connect this one more way now we're going through three level shifters here and one in line at the end of the strip. You can see you can put as many level shifters as you need to buffer that data throughout your length. So if you've got lights going all the way around your house, for example, your power injection points would be a good spot to stick one of these as long as you've got your JST connectors. Or you can always cut these wires and solder them however you like. My point is just to show that it works with both 5 volt and 3.3 volt logic. The only time it's 3.3 is right here coming out of the ESP. Everything else is being level shifted it up to five but to really get the effect here i'm gonna have to go into home assistant and let's just turn off these bright filming lights and there is our little rainbow show let's light up the entire strip so now it's chasing all the way down to the rest of the strip as well thank you so much for watching if you like this video hit that like button down there and if you like this kind of video hit the subscribe leave me any comments and i'll see you on the next one